I am so excited. I just came off the set and concluded Jumping the Broom. If you haven't heard about it, you're going to hear about it soon. It's our new movie, and we are excited about it. It's going to be coming out in May. Powerful cast. I mean, God blessed us to put together a cast that is going to be phenomenal. I mean, everybody from Angela Bassett to Romeo, Paula Patton, Laz Anzalo, Loretta Devine, Michael Epps. It's incredible. Yeah, I'm in there too. It's going to be a great story, humorous, entertaining and yet inspirational. Jumping the Broom is something your whole family will enjoy and I want you to look for it. I want you to be praying about it. We're excited to be a part of bringing together the kinds of films that inspires people and informs them and causes them to understand faith in all of its complexities and even laugh a little bit and have a great time. I think that Jumping the Broom is going to be the kind of movie that is going to have a long shelf life and people are going to be talking about it for years to come. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about what am I going to do with my mom or my wife or my friend or somebody that I want to take out Mother's Day weekend, already put it on your calendar now. And if you're a pastor over a sorority or a particular group, you ought to just buy a theater out for that night and, and we can make that available to you so that you can come out and all your friends and all of your Bible class, your prayer group or whatever can come out and laugh a little bit, get a bag of popcorn. Laughter is medicine. It's good for you. Jump in the broom. You're going to have a good time. Romeo, Angela Bassett, T.D. Jakes, don't be crazy. I'll be looking for you. Be there. Bishop Jakes, what inspired you to get into the movie business? You know, the movie business was not really a far stretch for me. When you think about it, we've had years of doing gospel plays. I grew up being involved in plays in church and entertainment. And uh, so this was an opportunity to continue our brand. When I think about it, I think of it in terms of communication. Whether you're doing it through books or through preaching or through speaking or motivation or doing it on film, it's all about finding unique ways to communicate uh, with an ever-increasing and diverse audience of people. How has Hollywood received your films thus far? You know, I've been amazed how well Hollywood has received our films and the very idea of faith-based and family-friendly films. Uh, a bit of a novelty to them, but they're very open-minded. The actors in particular are appreciative of quality films that they can participate in, particularly minority actors often find it difficult to, uh, to find a job that they can be cast into, be employed, and more importantly, walk away feeling good about. The thing that's been really exciting to us is that we get to write the stories that we tell and we get to control uh, how we are seen and our images and how they're projected. And that uh, as a community that we are far more diverse than what Hollywood often depicts, not only faith people, but black people in general, to understand that we're not all gangbangers, we're not all drug dealers, we're not all murderers to give us an opportunity to say that we have families, that we, have, uh, we are not a monolithic society, that we are intellectual and we are creative and we are diverse. It's kind of taking the reins of our own destiny back and wow, that can be a lot of fun. 